Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at London Charing Cross Station today and I'm about to board this Class 465. We're going to travel to Crayford. When we get to Crayford, we're going to go and visit a miniature railway. It's a bit of a coincidence that the last three have all been within Greater London and this one is another one in Greater London. It's just happened the way with my other commitments, opening times, etc. So let's get on this train and go and find this miniature railway. So here we are, this is Crayford, that way is looking back towards London, and that way is looking towards Dartford. Now I think the railway is probably approximately halfway between here and Bexley, maybe even slightly nearer to Bexley, but I thought it was Crayford for fun really. So what I've got to do, I'm going to find my way out of the station, I'm going to follow the London Loop. The London Loop is um, the orbital footpath which runs all the way around London, we'll follow that along the River Cray. This is one of those stations, um, one of those funny stations where it's got ticket barriers to the main entrance, but going out it just has an Oyster card reader. I don't need to touch an Oyster card because I have a travel card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow my way up the path through Crayford. I'm going to go and find the River Cray and let's go and find this miniature railway. So I'm now walking through the grounds of the Hall Place estate. It's a stately home which we're going to and the railway is within the grounds of that. Now this is their third site and it's quite a recent move. The club's been around since 1945 and they've had three different railway sites. They were once up at Russell Park in Bexley Heath. Then they moved to just beside Falconwood Station on some land belonging to the electricity board. I can remember seeing that railway from the train. That had to move on when the site was required for um, a tunnel to be part of a, a tunnel to carry electricity cables. So that was the end of that site. And then they moved here. We're just coming along here now. This is the River Cray, which flows through the pleasure ga grounds of the Hall Place Palace, which we shall soon see. Probably a quicker way. I could have come, should I come that way from the station? There's a path that runs all the way along here. So the railway line will run just along there. Uh, the place though I'm heading for, Hall Place, is over there. See where all those trees are? That's where the pleasure gardens are. So I'm just going to keep walking along the pleasant banks of the River Cray. Let's go and find this railway. So here we are, we're now in the pleasure gardens of Hall Place and here is the house. This would have been a merchant house um, built by Sir John Champneys who would have worked in the City of London. This was his country house. You know, it wouldn't have been in the suburb it is today. It would have been properly out in the country. As you can see, it's a stone built house. It was built in around 1540 and um, most of it would probably came from monasteries. Uh, possibly Lesnes Abbey, some of the stone. Lesnes Abbey isn't too far from here. But have a look at this side. There's an extension that's completely different. This brick extension was built about 100 years later in 1640 by somebody called Sir Robert Austin. So if you'd like to visit the house, it is something you can do. They do guided tours of the house. You have to pay for those. To actually visit the estate and the pleasure grounds, that's free. Um, you have to probably pay for a ride on the train. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to find our way across, across the pleasure grounds over there. Let's go and find the miniature railway. So I've found the railway, I have just bought my ticket, so I'm going to go to the little station over there, get on the train, let's go for a ride.
That was an enjoyable time riding and watching the trains on the miniature railway. And I always say this when I go to model engineering societies, the one exciting thing is you don't know what you're going to see and you often do see a nice variety of locos. You know, we saw class 40, class 66, class 20, Great Western heavy freight steam loco. Just the variety you see is, is great. I'm now walking for another part of the gardens. Most of the gardens are quite busy, but this corner is a bit quieter. It's a really pleasant place. And like I say, it is free to visit. The railway runs, I think it's April to September in the summer, but you can come here any other time and enjoy walking around these, as I say, very pleasant gardens. And the hall itself, if you would like to have a look inside, you can come and do guided tours. So we're back to this part of the garden again. There's the hall over there. Above me, there's a, a home oak and uh, some London plane trees. After all, we are still in London. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the very pleasant gardens at Hall Place, goodbye.